Okay, Byron Searle has a new word that he shared from yesterday. Are you ready? Part three. But I'm going to go back and read the first two that he has on that, um, that he has links up on part three for. I'm going to read part one and part two along with another recent word that he had. So this is from February 24, 2020. Are you ready? Jeremiah 51, 33, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. My son, with the judgments now falling upon the earth, I ask you to shout this word. Are you ready? Many of you are not, even though I have been warning my people for years, but you have, but have you heard? Have you unblocked your ears long enough to hear me shouting, are you ready? For now, those three words will echo in your spirit. Many, many are not ready, and the day will come if you have not heeded my warnings that you will fall and be at the mercy of the beast. My son, this plague that is going around the world is just the beginning. I said many will come out of one. Did you not understand? The virus is just one part of many parts. The economy is a part. Food shortages are a part. Death is a part, and mutations are a part. Many parts out of one, are you ready? For many of you, it is too late. You have not prepared by stocking food or water. You, my children, will fall into the hands of your corrupt government, meaning that you'll have to be at their mercy to obtain food. They have prepared places to keep those of you who have not prepared. This will open up another part, civil strife. My children in China and other parts of the world who have already fallen victim to this plague were not armed and went like sheep to the slaughter. Are you ready for what will happen when they impose quarantines on armed people? My son, I have said over and over many times by many of my watchmen to have your house in order and to be ready to stand before me at all times. But did you, my children, think I, was, I speak warnings for nothing? I said I was going to bring down this nation and that you could, would cry out to me on bloodied knees, that day is coming. For son, my son, they say it won't hit America because I am blessing this nation. For what, I ask? Am I blessing a nation that has sacrificed 60 million babies on the altar of Baal? Am I blessing a nation that promotes sexual sin as a normal lifestyle? Am I blessing a nation that promotes war over peace and kills millions in unjust conflicts? Am I blessing a nation who is in league with those of the synagogue of Satan? Am I blessing a nation whose pride and arrogance is a stench in my nostrils? Am I blessing a nation where those who call themselves by my name preach and teach abominable heresies? No, I am not blessing that nation. The false prophets have lied and the false pastors have taught the lies of escapism. I say unto you, are you ready not to escape, but to endure? My son, this is a very hard word that will fall on many deaf ears, but let those who have ears to hear here, get ready, for I said I will shake everything, and the shaking has begun. Are you ready? Are you ready to help your brothers and sisters? Do you have enough stocks for your family and the ones I will send to you? The time is now. Soon there will be no food in the stores. Are you walking in great faith to believe that I will sustain you as I did the children of Israel in the wilderness? Some of you are. Most of you are not. I said many will perish, but the church in America does not want to hear that. Hear this, thus saith the Lord, are you ready? My son, I love my children as I've always loved them. Trust me, read my word, stay in prayer. Repent, repent, be, repent. Amen, Lord Jesus. Then, March 2nd, 2020, Marching to Destruction, Are You Ready? Part 2. Jeremiah 51, 26, 25 to 26. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall take of thee a stone for a corner, not a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord. My son, the nations of this world are marching to destruction. However, they are so blind they cannot see it. My word speaks of a time as this, where nation will be against nation, and war will be commonplace. I speak of earthquakes and famine and pestilences and troubles like no other time ever. Why do you, my people, doubt 
why are you seeing with your what are you seeing with your own eyes have i told you to prepare your house have i told you to stock up food not just for yourselves but for the ones i will send to you my son my children are marching to destruction unlike joseph who prepared for the coming famine by faith my children go blindly into starvation what you say i'm trusting god to meet all my needs in the coming time of trouble and let me pause there because many have said that very thing to me and i know god can do all things i've seen him do miracles in my life and with other people's lives and i know he can provide manna to those that are in need miraculously but those people weren't given they didn't know when they were leaving god at the last minute told them you know gave them the ability to leave they had to just pick up and leave they had no time to get ready and so it's different like per se with joseph and with us the lord's been telling me for eight years to get ready um and with joseph you know the people were warned through pharaoh's dream that joseph was used to interpret that there was a seven year famine coming, but first there's gonna be seven bountiful years. So stock up and prepare for the time of trouble. God's been telling us that folks. So I've had many people say, even though I've been warning to, you know, prepare and stock up, well, it's okay because God will provide for me miraculously. We have to use wisdom and be obedient as well. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So if God's been warning you to prepare and you haven't, you haven't been obedient. That's all I'm going to say on that. Okay. So my children go blindly into starvation. What you say, I'm trusting God to meet all my needs in the coming time of trouble and then sit back and do nothing. What if Joseph did that? He trusted I would keep him and all of Egypt, Egypt from destruction. He acted on what I led him to do. How can I lead you if you're not willing to be led or listen? I say unto you, many will perish in the famines, pestilences, and wars because they have not prepared. My son, many nations of the world are now feeling my judgments. You cannot pray them away as my judgments are final and the unrepentant world refuses to turn from their evil ways. I've been warning and warning for many years, yet all my warnings fall on deaf ears. Many false prophets who do not know me have twisted my word and deceived many. My children are too busy or lazy to read my word and hear my voice for themselves. My children are too busy being offended to know what I am saying to them. My son, the earthquakes are now ready to do what I command. They are locked into position and as are all the volcanoes. This virus is but the beginning of the judgment. Soon more destruction will come. Will you be ready then? Have you been in prayer mode or panic mode? Many of my children are sleep in sleep mode. They do not believe that I am sending this. Soon they will. I am about to shake this earth with a shaking. Physical, spiritual, political, financial. Shake everything that can be shaken. Then you will know it is I, I am who has required this. My son, people were fast asleep in Jerusalem during the reign of Zedekiah. I sent my prophets to warn them. To no avail, during the siege, my children were forced to eat their sons and daughters to survive. Then Babylonian forces came in and slew every male and female. Those who survived the invasion were taken captive. This is coming to America. A fierce army from the north will lay waste to many cities. Many people will perish and many young people will be taken captive. Are you ready? The world is marching to destruction. Do you see it? My son, many of my children in America think they will be gone before anything comes upon this nation. They are wrong. I do not say in my word to endure persecution all except America. You are so holy and righteous that I will remove you so you won't have to walk by faith. Lies. My children through all time, throughout all of time, have had to trust me and walk by faith, yet many, many were persecuted to death. I'm coming soon, but not the way the church thinks or in the timing they think. I will return at the precise time my father has designated, not before nor after. Are you ready? My son, I love my children, but I hate the sin they are in. 
Repent now. Now is the time of salvation, not tomorrow, but now. Repent and turn from your evil ways and turn to me on your knees and I will forgive you. Humble your prideful hearts. Follow not prideful men. They will lead you to destruction, which you are marching toward. Amen, Lord Jesus. And this is called Racing Toward Destruction, August 9th. Uh, received August 4th to 7th. Proverbs 1, 24 to 33. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when, you, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would, none of, they would have none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own device. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from the fear from fear of evil. My son, I am lifting up my hand of protection off this nation. My hedge that had been surrounding you will now be knocked down and trodden underfoot. I have shouted warnings to deaf people and have been called a liar. I have destroyed nations and kingdoms for less, but because my remnant have assaulted my throne with prayer, I have stayed my hand. Thus saith the Lord, my hand of vengeance will now come as you have raced, have you, as you have raced toward destruction. I say, you have three weeks to prepare your hearts and houses. My son, I have not revealed what is forthcoming, but I have said, be prepared. For what is coming will be pure destruction, and only those who have ears to hear will be prepared. Many, many will perish, and the fi final acts with the final actors will be on the stage. Do not be deceived, your eyes will lie. Trust only my word, not the man in power. My son, I have called many, but they have refused my calling. They have been so blinded by man-made doctrines, they do not see what is right before them. Many of my children have been taught the doctrines of demons by men who call themselves shepherds. My body is weak and filled with sin and idolatry, yet they believe they are ready for the gathering. Right now, those that call themselves my bride are nothing more than a whore, allowing every false doc doctrine and evil men to sed seduce them into sin as a whole not every individual <laughs> my bride have has allowed witchcraft and idol worship to come in and fester like a cancer i tell you now you will go through the fires of testing just as all my true worshipers have i will laugh at your calamities and will not hear you as you decide now to cry out at the last minute your knees will be bloodied from prayer in the coming days i gave you seven weeks to prepare you four have passed are you ready for you are racing toward destruction. My son, shout repent to the stiff-necked people who refuse to fear the Lord. There are many false prophets among my people. Who are they? They are the Hananiahs, the ones promising perfect peace and prosperity, the ones who say that nothing bad will happen in this nation because this nation blesses Israel. Do you not know that the evil men that rule in, is, is in Israel are the seeds of the serpent? Your nation has been about aiding and abetting the evil in Israel and the world. My son, this nation is racing toward destruction, and only those with eyes to see can see it. I have not finished with America. I am just beginning. There will be nonstop judgments falling upon the, the, this land of the unfree and home of the past great. You are putting yourselves in bondage and taking away your freedoms. You are so blind you do not see it, just as they were in Jerusalem when my servant Jeremiah was shouting, they're shouting repent to them. They did not hear nor see, and they perished or were taken captive, just as will happen in this nation. My son, scream repent to these deaf people. However, many hearts have been seared closed and refused to repent. Pray for your king, for much peril is soon to find him. I am not done using this man to bring judgment on this nation. Three weeks are left to prepare and get your houses in order. The food chain has been destroyed and will catch up to the people. Crazed mobs will take everything out of the stores to survive. Three weeks to get your hearts in order. Repent now and walk the narrow path that leads to me. Repent now, for you do not know when and what day you will stand before me. 
Judgment is on the land for the evil and blood that has been spilled. My people are polluted wells, clouds without water, yet they have been taught that I will snatch them away before any trouble happens. I say, open your blind eyes. Trouble is here, as are my judgments, and you are still here. You will learn to walk in great faith as the great shaking is soon to begin. I love you, my children, but you are racing toward judgment. Amen. Given by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this last one from yesterday. Are you ready? Part three. Okay. Received the 14th to the 16th. The links to the pre previous words the Lord gave me early, earlier this year are right here. And I just read those. Now Romans 1, 15 to 16, so as much as in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are in, at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. My son, hear and write what I say to my children. I know many of you do not believe my watchmen who have been shouting, get ready, get your house in order, get your house in order. But I say to you now, are you ready? Many of you had have heeded the words spoken and have gotten prepared that is good for you have two weeks left to stock your goods but i say again are you ready are you ready to be in constant prayer for this nation are you ready to preach the gospel to win the lost are you truly ready for what lies ahead my son much turmoil and chaos is just ahead and most of my children are not ready they have been taught false doctrines by men who want all to think they will be gone before anything bad happens. But I say you will be here until the last trump is sounded, and I will be with you if you are ready. My son, this nation and those who rule from the king down do not fear me. They mock me and my word and blaspheme my holy name. They do not seek repentance. Instead, they seek the gods of this world. Do you not see, my children, that I have taken away the pleasures of this world so you will seek me more? I tell you now and mark this day, a lockdown is coming that will keep all people inside. Are you ready? The evil men who want to control your lives will have free reign, for I will allow them to do this. My son, my children have been told to follow laws that go against my word, and yet like sheep led to the slaughter, they blindly follow. When my children's knees are bloodied from prayer, then will their eyes be opened. As more and more chaos reigns in the streets of the cities, some of my children will rise up and shout the good news. Many, however, will stay silent, fearing what may happen to themselves. I say, if I abide in you, then you should have no fear. As the three Hebrew boys would not bow to the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, they had no fear. They knew I was with them. And even if they said, even if we, we die, then it was the Lord's will, and they'll be with the Lord. They were ready and walked with great faith into the furnace, and God brought them out. You too, my children, you must learn to walk in great faith. Faith comes from knowing my word. My son, I have not revealed to you what will come after the two weeks to prepare. That has been given to another watchman to share. There is a coming day when the voices will fall silent, if my children have heeded the warnings I have shouted and sought me daily in prayer, they will know my voice. I will lead and guide them. My remnant who have been marked will lead many to areas of safety that have, been, that have all been prepared. My son, I ask my children, are you ready to walk as those before you have? I say many will perish in the coming days as key events unfold and drive those in power underground. Do not look for your king to save you. No matter how many laws he signs, he cannot stop the judgment that's coming on this vile nation. There is no place to hide, no way to pray them away. They are set and in motion now. Have you prepared? Are you ready? Repent now, turn from your evil ways and loose lifestyles and come to me. I will forgive you and set your feet on the solid rock. Repent now from your callousness and dig into my word. My word is the only truth. Trust no man or woman's, no man or man's word, unless they can be found in my word. Are you ready? There are only two weeks left to prepare in earnest. Then all will know why. You will hear my voice. Will you hear my voice? Repent now. Amen. Given by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.